This is Randy Rosetta with HubSweetPreps.com with a Tiger Tracks video cast. I am with Boston Morin and Bliss Basir, two of the rising seniors in the Friendship Volleyball program. You two girls were around last year, didn't play a ton, but Coach Mangum said you're being counted on for big things this year. So first of all, Bliss, to know your coach said that about you, how much does that motivate you and get you ready as you guys jump into practice this week? Yes, sir. It just means a lot that, like, Coach has said that about me. And then just knowing that I have a role on the court this year and then going to be a big, like, mentor for the younger kids in our program. And, Boston, kind of the same thing for you. You guys, she mentioned something there. There's so many good players at Friendship year in and year out. Mm -hmm. Good players have to kind of wait their turn. Yes, You've had to wait a little bit. How eager are you to get out there and kind of show what you can do now? I'm Yes, sir. I'm super excited to play front row this year. I... I've kind of moved around from front row to back row throughout high school, and I'm super, super excited to finally play front row in varsity because last year I played back row. And you two are stepping up into a team that has some girls coming back from a really good team last year. Mm -hmm. yes, the success was season long, unfortunately. It ended a little bit early, and I know I've talked to Hadley and a couple of the other girls about that being motivating, mm -hmm. especially for girls who didn't play a ton but kind of got that taste. The bliss, how motivating is it to kind of duplicate what you did and maybe have a little bit of success when you get to the playoffs? Yes sir it's just like exciting to know that this year that I had the opportunity to probably be on the court like while we're having all the successes like early season we had a lot of success in like all the tournaments we played and then just knowing that I should be on the court when we're into playoffs and should go farther. Boston, I, I mentioned that there's a lot of players back, but you'll have a little bit different personality because you did lose some players. What yes. will make this team click? What will make you guys go this year? So a lot of this team all played club together. We all, like, we're just really, we're close outside and we're close on the court. Like, we're very, we're like, all friends. Yeah, we're we all get best along. friends on and off the court. And it's like just all these seniors being together, I think is going to have a good team dynamic. And that chemistry it could have been there. It, there was chemistry there last year, but you have a first-year coach, and you kind of have to mm -hmm. yes. get used to each other. And Coach Mangum obviously has shown what she can do through the years. How comfortable is that with this team now, Bliss, having with Coach here a second? You guys have been through her system. She, You know what she expects. She knows what to expect from you. Yes, sir. So all of us just coming in, we were all like so like strong-headed last year coming in, and then Coach Mangum being a new coach, it was kind of a rocky start. But now that we've been with her all through like a whole off season and then all through this summer, it should be really good. All of us getting back together and just knowing how Coach Mangum coaches mm -hmm. and how all of us play together at the varsity fast paced level. Mm -hmm. You guys will hear me say this a lot. I'm a two time girl dad, so I totally <laughs> understand stubborn girls. I, I get it. They have to deal with the stubborn dad once in a while too. So Boston kind of follow up on that getting to know coach Mangum last year you, you, there's going to be some growing pains they may not be bad growing pains but there's going to be some growing pains we've definitely learned like coach Mangum's pace like coming in Co coach Mangum's like a fast-paced coach like get here get here coming from shallow water and like we've adapted to that especially turning to eight periods mm -hmm. like getting in getting ready and working during practice and not so much a slow pace and just like we've really adapted to her kind of coaching mm -hmm. I remember the first time I sat to coach, spoke to coach, we were sitting in this table right here, and she mentioned that friendship had a reputation of being really good offensively in mm -hmm. volleyball. Mm -hmm. She wanted to make sure that you guys knew that you had to play defense. Mm -hmm. You had to be a defensive presence, I think is what she yes. said. Yes. Bliss, what did you guys learn last year that you bring into this year in that regard, knowing that you've got to be able to do some things defensively? Yes, sir. So, like, we've just really worked on playing, like, outside in and working outside the block and going in. But most importantly, like, just no balls hit the floor. Like, mm -hmm. balls to the walls. Like, run after your teammates. Like, you can get every single ball on the court. Mm -hmm. That's the, just, just the mentality we've had all offseason. Mm -hmm. What about you, Boston? We've, like, we've learned that, like, you just don't let a ball hit the floor. Like, no matter what, you give – 100% effort to not let it and we practice like emergency moves we practice all these moves to not let it hit the floor to give full effort and win points that we probably couldn't win if we didn't let it hit the floor that's a pretty good strategy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you guys I mentioned that you had the great season last year it ended abruptly but you played really off your heels against two really good teams in town that mm -hmm. went fairly deep in the playoffs Lubbock Cooper and Liberty do you take something from playing so well against those teams last year that you took into the 
off season when the vo volleyball I know the off season really doesn't exist you're playing year round but mm -hmm. into the summer and then getting ready do you look at what they achieved and know that you were that close to doing that bliss yes sir I think all of us knew that we had like the talent and like the work to like get it done it was just that we went into that playoff game like so like confident and co yeah. cocky honestly that it just kind of got over our head and then when we got down it kind of just beat us up but knowing that like we beat Cooper and a few of the Amarillo schools up north um, just kind of put some confidence back in us this year knowing that we can do it and with eight returning seniors mm -hmm. just knowing that like we've all experienced it and that we can do it I've, you probably will hear me say this a time or two that sometimes that sting of defeat will mm -hmm. kind of be that tool that you need Boston how do you guys use that as Kind of what you need this year it's just going into the playoff game last year we were so like confident in ourselves and like going out we were like wow like what were we thinking mm -hmm. kind of like it's just like we want to go in and like have a level head and just like play our hardest and play our game yeah. and it's just i feel like we're fo focusing more on ourselves this year and not the other team yes and the tigers get that going this week with practice and then next week jump into action this is mm -hmm. randy rosetta with hubcitypreps.com that's been the tiger tracks video cast